Isn't that guy ever gonna leave? Probably having a nightcap, Sid. Abby's a big girl, as you're so fond of pointing out. How's Michael? He's sleeping. Oh, good. Seems to be sleeping through the night now. Yeah, Sid. Hmm? He seemed better to you? Oh, yeah, a lot better. We must be doing something right. I don't know. I'm still worried. Honey, it doesn't do any good to worry. That's part of the problem. We're putting too much pressure on the kid. What are you talking about? You know the doctors told us we have to do everything to give him special attention. Yeah, to let him know that we love him. But more than that, I'm not talking about putting pressure on him. I'm talking about giving him what he needs. Honey, the problem is that you have a tendency to coddle him too much. Coddle him? Yeah, you treat him like a freak. He isn't. I am not treating him like a freak, Sid. I'm treating him like a, a boy, my son, who needs my help because he's in trouble. It's not going to help him to make him feel there's something wrong there with him. There is something wrong with him. I thought you finally understood that. He has a problem, and it's getting treated. <laughs> now, let's not make a big deal out of this thing, OK? You know, you are the most delicious conniver. It's been my pleasure to encounter. I beg your pardon? My sister-in-law doesn't have the slightest notion of ever moving back to Dallas. I guess I must have been wrong. Yeah, I guess you were. And I guess that blows the hell out of any reason I ever had to give my brother $50,000. I'm sorry to hear that. You're quite a fighter. I like that. I just wish my brother had married somebody like you rather than that wimpy he's calling a wife nowadays. Yeah, I'd like to have you in my family. You're somebody I can talk to. Even if you do deal in stolen spare parts. Who said they were stolen? <laughs> well, the way I got it figured is somebody wants that $50,000 or my brother's kneecaps real bad. And that puts Gary in a hell of a bind, doesn't it? He's got to choose between me and walking real good for the rest of his life. You're a very astute man. Yeah, and you're pretty sharp yourself. Wish we had more people like you down in Texas, that's for sure. Well, I wish you'd reconsider that loan. It's important to Sid's business. He's my brother. I want to help him. Oh, honey, your brother doesn't know the first thing about that deal going through. Don't call me honey. Then we don't heat it up now. I'm going to give him that money. I'll give him the loan. If and when he comes and asks me for it. But then I'm going to want a little something for myself. <sighs> I thought so. Done. Let's take care of business first. OK? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, uh, it took me a little time, but I finally figured it out. What you're really interested in. What you want from me. I don't want anything for myself. Yes, you do. You want my little brother, Gary, honey? <laughs>